This is Daniela White bringing you a breaking news report from Urban Christian News Network. According to the Washington Times, in a second homosexual marriage ruling on Wednesday, the U.S. Supreme Court said it did not have proper jurisdiction over a case involving a voter-passed constitutional law that bans homosexual marriage. The 5-4 decision means a lower court ruling that struck down Proposition 8 stands, and gay marriage will again be allowed in California. In the majority ruling, written by Chief Justice John Roberts, Jr., the court said that the petitioners, ProtectMarriage.com, which promoted Proposition 8, did not have the legal standing to appeal the ruling by a federal district court. According to CNN, the Supreme Court has struck down a key provision of the Defense of Marriage Act, stating that same-sex spouses legally married in a state may receive federal benefits previously restricted only for traditionally married couples. Justice Kennedy read the 5-4 to four decision. Kennedy, Ginsburg, Breyer, Sotomayor, and Kagan voted to overturn the provision. Scalia, Thomas, Roberts, and Alito dissented. According to the Supreme Court blog, the decision stems from the idea that the legislation is a deprivation deprivation of the equal liberty of persons that is protected by the Fifth Amendment. Dr. Russell Moore, president of the Southern Baptist Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, said in response to the rulings that evangelical Christian churches have assumed for too long an understanding of marriage in the culture around us that does not exist. This decision shows the illusion that we are some sort of moral majority in this country. Appealing to family values as though the rest of the culture understands what that means is no longer viable. The church has to take a concentrated effort at teaching a countercultural understanding of marital fidelity and family life. In response to the DOMA ruling, the Alliance Defending Freedom said the Supreme Court got it wrong in saying that a state that has redefined marriage can force that definition on the federal government. The federal government should be able to define what marriage is for federal law, just as states need to be able to define what marriage is for state law. Marriage, the union of husband and wife, is timeless, universal, and special, particularly because children need a mother and a father. Particularly because children need a mother and a father. That's why 38 states and 94% of countries worldwide affirm marriage as a union of a man and a woman, just as diverse cultures and faiths have done so throughout history. Also in response to Proposition 8 ruling, the Alliance Defending Freedom said, Despite the Supreme Court's decision, the debate over marriage has only just begun. The court's decision does not silence the voices of Americans. Americans will continue advancing the truth about marriage between a man and a woman and why it matters for children, civil society, and limited government. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Daniela White with Urban Christian News Network. May God bless your day.